you're looking at live pictures out of New York City where thousands have just witnessed the iconic crystal ball drop at Times Square. It's just past midnight there in the Big Apple, a steady rain for most of the evening, but that failed to dampen the spirits of merrymakers. This year's event pays a special tribute to press freedom as part of festivities. Journalists from various news agencies joined Mayor Bill de Blasio to push the button for the traditional ball drop. And China is marking the 40th anniversary of diplomatic ties with the United States this year. Despite simmering trade tensions, Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump exchanged messages of congratulations. According to Chinese state media, Mr. Xi told Mr. Trump that ties have experienced their ups and downs, but have made historic progress over the past four decades. He added that history has shown cooperation is the best choice for both sides. In his message to Mr. Xi, Mr. Trump said his priority is to promote cooperative and constructive relations. 이로부터 우리는 이미 더 이상 핵무기를 만들지도 시험하지 않으며 North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has issued a warning to the U.S. in his New Year speech. He says he's willing to meet President Trump any time to produce a result that will be welcomed by the international community. But he will be forced to take a different approach if Washington continues its campaign of sanctions and pressure. He has again asked the United States to take corresponding action for faster progress on denuclearization. And you're watching Channel News Asia.